welcome to my channel Mathverse and in the first video on the lecture series of simple and compound interest I am going to talk about simple interest in this first video first of all what is interest let us assume that there are two agencies or two people or two organizations like in A and B now A has given B some money let that be P I am denoting that money by P uh, principle that is now B uses that money for some other work let it be anything but since B has taken A's money and has kept it for T years let it be T years and has done some productive job using that money therefore now when B will return that money to A that P B has to pay some more money as a service charge of giving this money to A and that money is known as interest. Now this interest can be divided into two distinct types. First one is simple and second one is compound. I shall talk about compound interest after two or three videos. So let's start about simple interest. Now, in case of simple interest, what happens after every term? Term means that term may be in here, and I shall explain it later. After every term, that this P will be same. And what is the significance of this to understand that? First, we shall talk about interest and rate of interest. Like there is an agreement between A and B that A is saying that I am giving you P amount of money and if you want to keep it for some time, let it be T or something, then B has to follow one simple rule that for every hundred rupees that A has given to B, B has to pay extra R rupees for every hundred rupees. Therefore, for P rupees that A has given to B, for P rupees A has to pay. We shall use the unitary method actually. I shall break it into another step. For hundred rupees B has to pay R extra rupees. For one rupee B has to pay R by hundred extra rupees. Then for P rupees b has to pay r into p divided by 100 rupees now about the rate of interest this r is called the rate of interest and it is denoted by percentage and it is said that r percent interest per annum that means at the end of every year just listen it very carefully at the end of every year this R amount of money will be added to the principal for every hundred rupees or in other words if the total principal if the total principal is P then for every single rupee that I, we, I can tell it from here for every single rupee R by 100 rupees has to be paid extra therefore for P rupees this much amount of money will have to be paid extra as an interest now this one is for every year so if B keeps that money for T years if B keeps that money for T years then the total amount of interest simple interest actually after this t years will be p r by 100 which i have taken from here and this one is for one single year therefore for t years it will be p r t divided by 100 this much amount will be the extra money that b has to pay to a and if we want to calculate how much money that B has to pay to A and that will be P plus this one. So here we get a formula for simple interest. I call it SI simple interest and it is P R T divided by 100 where T is the principal, T is the time in year that 
uh, that much uh, this uh, B has taken to repay it and R is the rate of interest that is how much money B has to pay uh, for every hundred rupees of money now in so many cases a complexity arrives there the time period is not given in years the pi time period t is given not in years but in days and here we stuck but no need to worry like this formula gives a new formula when the time is given in days how to convert that let's see here principal whatever it may be like the time is given in t uh, sorry in year or month or day or anything p will always remain the same therefore the formula will contain p obviously in the first place this r this r has come this r sorry this r by 100 this term this term has come from this step Therefore, this step will also be the same because rate of interest will not change in this case. Only this t will change. Now, let us assume, I am doing it in rough. Let us assume that we have said that the money will be given. Sorry, wait a moment. The money will be given for d days and we have to calculate the interest for d days only. Now, 365 days equals to one year therefore d days will be equal to 1 by 365 sorry d by 365 years just substitute this d by 365 thing into here so d by 365 now we can rearrange this formula in some different way p r d by 36500 or in some book you can find it in this way 2 PRD 7300 so we have got this formula as one and this formula as another now here I want to say one more thing about it like when we have to calculate the number of days like it is said that 500 rupees is given as loan for on the 500 rupees is given as loan at uh, at five percent interest five percent interest for on 21st june and b pays b returns the money on let it be uh, 21st December ok 21st December now we have to calculate how much interest B has to pay so from a formula 500 into so now R by 100 so 5 by 100 then now comes number of days divided by 365 when we shall calculate this one, we shall exclude the day on which the loan is given. That is, 21st June will be excluded from the calculation and we shall start from 22nd June. So now, how to calculate this one? From 22nd June to 31st June, okay, we can understand it, try to understand it clearly. From from 22nd June to 30th June, total 9, 8 days plus 31 days of July plus 31 days of September plus sorry, 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 31 days of August, 30 days of September, 31 days of October, 30 days of November and 21 days of December. Add them and you will get the value of d that is to be put here this will be the value and then you can calculate simply so that was the method of calculating simple interest for two different cases i know that this is quite elementary and you guys all know these topics very well but 
I'm not saying that this is unimportant because I have seen several problems in previous year questions which come from these two formula only. And these problems are really tricky. So be prepared. Try to solve as many problems as possible from these portions. And if, if anyone wants practice set on this portion, can obviously contact me. And you guys try to solve problems from different uh, exams, different books. And when you solve completing, uh, you sorry, you complete solving those, you can send me your doubts. If there is any, I shall try to uh, solve those doubts and explain on a different video. Okay, tata, jai.